Good evening, everybody. The Celtics A42 here, and Happy New Year to you all, as today is uh, January 1st, 2024. So goodbye, 2023, and hello, 2024. So I just got done watching the uh, the ball drop, and it's time for me to start my uh, my first video, aka first let's play of 2024, starting a certain game. Well, there's no point of keeping it mystery since I already got the game um, highlighted and already got and it's already sported my title. So I was just going to jump the gun and say we're going to we're going to kick off 2024 with um, let's play Super Mario RPG the Switch version. Now, before anyone asks, did, uh, did you you guys play the original version, right? Yes, I have. Back in um like in 2012 or, or something like that. But yeah, but when I when I when I last played the original Super Mario RPG, it had some negative qualities. I'll admit that. So all further ado, let's just jump in the action and get this new let's play of uh, 2024 to to a great start. All right, so now loading. But yeah, man, I've been I've been dying to do it ever since I got my hands on this game back in November. Alright, I'm gonna tell you right I'm gonna tell you right now. Now when you first uh boot the switch version of Super Mario RPG, you're not gonna see Exor on uh, on Bowser's Keep. You're just gonna see you just you're just gonna see Bowser's Castle without Exor on it. Alright, we're gonna skip this intro because um we're gonna see we're gonna we're gonna see it again anyway. But um there's a reason why we're gonna we're gonna stay on this uh, screen for a certain amount of time. Cause we gotta show up the introduction now. Yup, we gotta show this off first. Yeah, cause back when I last played the original Super Mario RPG, I don't think I never did show off the um the introduction of the uh, the original game. <laughs> I mean, I could show it off, but that's gonna cause me to hook up my Wii U. And I don't feel like hooking hooking it up. This is my closet right now. <laughs> so yeah, while that's going on. Yeah, when they uh, when they first announced this in the uh, Nintendo Direct in that June, this was mainly shadow bombed because let's just say that that treasure just came out of nowhere and oh my goodness, man, I was just let's just say I was going absolutely crazy when I went watching in the Direct on the Direct rather. <laughs> I'm like, oh my goodness, now I gotta get some RPG because um. Cause you may remember my past videos, I keep on saying stuff like they should put some RPG on the Switch Online. Yeah, cause I was hoping they would do so, but... Let's just say my, um... My answer was kinda answered. Well, instead of them putting it on the Switch Online, they, they gave us the remake version of some RPG on the Switch. Which I'm okay with it, because I'll tell you right now, this game is really dope as hell. <laughs> Got updated graphics. Decent animations. Oh, and they added cutscenes in the Switch version. Oh, Geno for Smash. In the in the soundtrack of this game, the remake version is outstanding. Oh my God, I've been listening to this soundtrack like nonstop. You have no idea. Oh my goodness, like this. I mean, this the soundtrack for Super Mario G, the remake version, is like a drug to me. Well, in a good way. Cause I love what they did to Bowser in the remake. Well, I'm still going to title the video, uh, Let's Play Super Mario G uh, 2023. Because that's the year it came out. Even though it, it originally came out in 1996, the original version of Super Mario Oh, I love how uh, Valentina's um, castle has a door now, compared to the original version. But yeah, the Switch version does, does got some uh, decent changes. Oh yeah, like like that for example. Like whenever uh, Mario was on that cart and he sped up, it gave him a little animation where he was waving his hands. When you speed up, see he never he never did that in the original version. And hello Peach. Peaches, 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 Peaches. <laughs> yeah, I was watching, yeah, I was just watching that on, on Netflix not too long ago. Oh my god, the time jumps, and... Oh, and speaking of which, um... This time I'm certain, I, I highly doubt I'm gonna, harvest, I'm gonna harvest in this let's play, but... I'm gonna try to find all the, uh, the, the secret, uh, treasures, but I can't, but, uh, I can't promise that. 
But we'll see when the time comes doing a mop up episode. <laughs> but yeah, I'm so excited. I'm about to start, start this let's play, man. Xor or Mario in Super Mario RPG. So there you have it. So once again, folks, I like you. Welcome, guys, to Let's Play Super Mario RPG for the Switch. All right. So um, so yeah. Already, I'm noticing already been noticed a certain change with the uh, Slug Falls because on, on the original um version of Super RPG, it had like like four or, or five save slots, and in the remake version, it has the old save uh, feature. So I can I can I can look right now and go to the uh to the factory level, but no, we're not gonna do that now. Come on, man! No, no, no. We 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 starting this game from scratch now. <laughs> so yeah, so this is gonna be my new game, right? And this is my um uh, well technically this is my uh so-called practice spot because I'm actually gonna do a lust race. I'm actually gonna do a lust race of this with the CLP heroes in the future. So yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna be playing other than. I'm gonna be playing on this file, and some of you guys may be wondering, okay, what's with the um, star in your file? Does it indicate you that you 100%ed it? No, it's because I uh, I beat the main game, and um, and I um, and they gave me the clear star. But I'm gonna tell you right now, once you beat the main game, they'll give you um, they'll give you ability to um, they give you features to uh, fight um, harder bosses and add new missions and such. So. I most likely do the post-game stuff after I finish the main game. Let's put it that way. So yeah, that's that's another that's another new feature they add in the uh, remake version is uh post-game um bosses. But for now, for all further ado, let's start ourselves a new game. Alright, start from the beginning. This will erase any current old save data, that's fine. And it's gonna ask us oh yeah, and it's gonna give us two difficult settings. So they don't give us a normal mode or breezy mode. Now you play this game on normal mode. That's what it says. Battles or battles normally in this mode. Play this if you want to enjoy a challenge, which I will be doing this let's play. And breezy, it's just easier mode. Choose this if you want to quickly progress the story. Now I'm gonna tell you right now when it comes to breezy mode. I don't see any um difference with breezy mode aside from the uh from the items. Cause I only see one change in breezy mode because um, cause when you play on breezy mode, you can you can go you can only carry up to uh thirty specific items. For a normal mode, yeah, you you carry up to ten. So without further ado, let's start this game on normal and get this show on the road. Oh, what else is new? Okay, she just she doesn't really yell out help in this part. Well, she kind of did, but you don't see the letter on there. You don't see the word help when she whenever she screams help. All right, as you can see that's Bowser's castle, right? So it, it, it it's gonna play uh, like the old traditional Mario game where Peach gets kidnapped and you gotta go to uh Boss Castle to save her. Oh shoot! I love that change right there. <laughs> it's kinda like it's kinda like the uh, Super Mario World's uh, castle cutscene whenever he looks up in the sky and then the door opens. And what do you know? Just listen to that music. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Oh, before we get any further details, I want to mention that, um, if you're not too fine with the modern, uh, soundtrack, you can switch to, you can switch to the, uh, to the original version. Here, I'll show you. You hit the start button, right? It'll take you to the pause screen, right? And you want to go under, um, you want to go under system, and go under settings, and select to where you see music version, and hit the right button, and select classic.
So I'm only gonna do this once. Now let's put it back on the monitor because we're gonna we're Mars we're Mar like that. Okay, I don't know why they uh, they give us this option to remake because um because uh, let's just say your default movement because when you put this game for the first time it's gonna be on dash because with that option on you have to hold the um you have to hold the uh, R button and make Mario walk but if you hit the joystick he'll just run automatically so I'm used to playing the OG version all right now it's kind of hard to explain how type A works oh yeah cuz let's just say that type B let's just say I, I select the um the uh, the action command by hitting the Y button I had to hit the Y button twice to execute that uh, action command but on type A I gotta hit Y then hit A to execute the um the action command I know it sounds confusing and all. Alright. Make sure it's on monitor. And now let's get the show on the road. Alright. See, I, I love holding the run button. Oh, that same Bloom song. Sound effect, I mean. Alright, so, um, this is our. Well, this, this is most likely our uh, tutorial fight. So you hit A to attack. X is to use your items if needed. Like you, like you want to uh, hit yourself a mushroom to gain health back. Because as you can tell, we had level 1, 20 HP, and um, and 10 FP. And those are your flower points which represent your magic. And you use your magic, you hit the white button for special. Alright, and other is when you hit defense. You just defend. Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. Well, we off on a good start. Alright. Ah, time hits. Alright. Oh, and I like the, uh, the original version. Um, you get experience for finding the, um, the, uh, the, the tutorial enemies. Alright. gonna cross the bridge and when you get to that spot the bridge is gonna fall oh my god look at that detail look at that damn detail <laughs> go to the door I mean got spikes on it now and already um we, we made it to um oh wow about since the throne chair wasn't there before in the original And hello, uh, Marba 3, uh, music, when you fight Bowser. Don't let him bruise you, Mario. Okay, now, the dialogue is all magically, so I'm not gonna read the ones in blue in time. Alright, so, our uh, tutorial fight with Bowser. So, you may be thinking, okay, let's, uh, attack Bowser, but no, we don't, we don't wanna do that. We want, we wanna use your, uh, your, your special FP. And you wanna jump on the, uh, on the, whatchamacallit. That, 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 the king -alang. Alright. Two hits will do. What was that sound? N -n no! It's a chain reaction! Hey in there, Chandelier. Oh, he has a name now! Oh yeah, because in the original version, he was called, um... Clink Link or some shit like that? Come here, Mario. Dude, don't celebrate! Come on, you saw what happened to um to that one guy off of uh, Raising Canaan. Not Raising Canaan, uh, Power of Force. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, Power Book 4 Force. Huh. Yeah, when he punched that guy, then um, he thought he knocked him out, then he shot him. Oh yeah, Leon. That's his name, Leon. Huh, <laughs> Bowser's crying meme. Holy shit, how big is this castle? Holy shit! Good lord, how long did it take to build that big ass castle? Huh! Man, too bad I can't stay at the dialogue for a long time because in the, in the remake version it's automatically in the blue tux. Oh, Mario, you had me so worried. Oh, he's just reaching out to her with one hand. 
Oh, and they changed some of the dialogue from the original one, like, 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 uh, like, whenever she said that, she, she actually said, uh, Mario, I think I'm going to fall. Dude, that was fucking epic right there. It really was. And so, the main tile itself, Super Mario RPG. Legends of the Seven Stars. Oh, hello. Oh, yeah, they, they were... Well, there kind of was a cutscene for that in the original, but you only saw the saw the world map whenever he uh, jumped out of uh, Bowser's castle. Mario house? Come on, why you got that big ass sign telling people that's your house? You want everybody to know where you stay at? Shit. Okay, so now the dialogue's in the yellow. You can you can take it you can take it you can take your time oh, how can I say it? You can take all the time you need to read the dialogue before you hit the A button. So yeah, I'm guessing Toad doesn't um know that Peach is had, uh, has been kidnapped again. Yeah, I'm popping my head to this. Alright. Alright, let's uh, talk to Tub because we're going to have to. Wait, I think the game forced you to save before we go to our next segment. Because I really hope it does. Because I don't, I don't want to save doing recording. Unless it's an auto save. Yeah, what else is new, man? Are you, are you that fucking shocking, man? When boss would never learn. He always kidnapped at the princess. He's probably singing peaches, 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 peaches. <laughs> yeah, you only die if you in, if you in battle. Alright, so that's a save block. You have on that save block, you save your game. But as, as I as I pretty much mentioned in the rem in the remake version, it, it has all save. All right, now we can go to Boss's Keep. So yeah, as you can tell, I'm not really, I'm, not, I'm probably not gonna like like breeze breeze through this. This is gonna be a casual run. And wow, since when um, Bowser and Mario are becoming neighbors? What the hell? Now see, Mario, this is why you need, you need to move at a better location, man. Like, why why is Bowser your neighbor? And I wonder why he kidnapped Peach all the damn time. Shit! And hello, Exor. A trio trespasser! More like a soul trespasser. The Smithy Gang. Yup, a new man in town. Alright, uh, Exor, this ain't Scooby Doo. So stop it. Stop it right there. Earthquake! Oh, this is a little slight change during this cutscene. Yep, we actually see uh, Mario climb on that cliff. Because normally you will see Mario stay on that cliff and he'll, he'll just hop once and just walk off. I, l I love how they add that touch. So yeah, if we go to this hill again, guys, don't got some long as long time. Oh, he no, see, he no longer walks off when you uh, revisit uh, this this the hill. All right, so now let's go back to Mario's pad, his house, and we got to tell told the bad news. All right, back to the house we go. 
I also love his walking animation. So yeah, let's get, let's get to play some charades. Yeah, that's a recurring. That, that's gonna be a recurring thing for Mario playing charades. <laughs> As he translates his actions, as he, as he shares his story. The Chancellor, is he gonna do it? Okay, let me stop. <laughs> Alright, so now we gotta go to Mushroom Way. Alright, if we uh, try to leave Mario's house, this happens. Oops, excuse me. Oh shit. Well, it only reduces our uh, HP by one point, but I'm gonna run stuff anyway, once this dialogue is over, unless I forget to do so. Alright, got a mushroom. Alright, so you wanna use X to uh, go into I am like a mushroom if you wanna heal up. Oh, hello! Hey, Goomba! Alright, I'm gonna tell him yes, I know by actual commands. Alright, Noah from the Sopranos! <laughs> yeah, that Goomba's looking at him. That Goomba's looking at him and punch his fucking lights out! <laughs> Alright, so you need to tell Chance about Peach. Okay, another change they did in Mario RPG, uh, they, um... See, on the, on the original Super Mario RPG, uh, they call Peach Toadstool due to, um, localized, localization. But ever since uh, Super Mario 64's time, they started calling her Peach. So I, I love that change in the uh, remake version of Mario RPG. So we got three mushrooms. Alright. So, um... If you go on the pause menu, uh, I lost uh, 1 HP because uh, Toad had ran to me, so... If you go in Mario's house, and right with that light, by hitting A, he get the rest. See, and you can rest here for free because it's your house. Oh, I gotta hit the button again to, um, to get out of the bed. Now my HP should be full. Alright, let me go on the journal so I can get rid of that exclamation point, because it's taunting my ass. Don't worry, you're not going to see that shit throughout, throughout the last play. Oh yeah, you can view the uh, the monster list, and when you view them, hit the Y button, and you get to view the animations. Oh man, I'm going to tell you right now, you want 100% Mario RPG or uh, the Switch version? Good luck doing so, because it is so RNG based, because, um... You gotta, um, expose the, uh, Emmy's weakness. <laughs> Find out what he's immune to. Wait for him to drop a random, uh, item. Even a rare one. Get, get him to attack you a certain amount of times and such. Alright. That's what we're gonna show off. I'm not gonna waste any time with you and every list now. Oh, right, let's go behind the let's go behind the house just 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 to play it safe because you never know what they hop behind here. All right, now let's get the hell out of here. And now we're gonna start our first level. Yep, the uh, mushroom way. Oh yeah, I'm, you, you may notice that when I hit the pause screen, um, when I hit the pause screen, you don't see the word map on there yet. If this is the original version, I mean. Alright, let's start our mushroom way. Alright, see, what's our experience? Oh, we can check under special. No, check under, uh, equip. Alright, so we need 14 more experience to level up. Now, I'm gonna tell you right now, when we get to level 2, um... Your best bet is that your best bet is to level up your, um... Your magic bonus first. All right, so we're gonna, we're gonna fight in a, we're gonna fight in a few battles. All right, starting with this Goomba. Uh. All right, we got an eight oh, HP up. Oh damn, I can't even see. Oh, I can't even see the uh, 
the HP on my uh, TV because my big ass um, external hard drive is blocking it for my PS5. Alright, so because we saved Tur- uh, I'm gonna call him Turds. Because we saved uh, Toad, he gave us a honey syrup. Alright. Oh boy. Get us in another fight. Block that motherfucker. All right. So it's gonna be it's gonna be uh, hard for me to explain how this uh this battle comeback works. So um, in order to do time hits, you have to um whenever I whenever you uh hit the A button and have Mario punch the Goomba, the moment when Mario's hit uh, the moment when Mario's fist hit the Goomba, hit A again, and he'll get and he'll attack him again, and they and they call it time hits, which deals more damage. And now you may see a, you may see a certain thing on the lower left side of the screen. That's your gag move, which is a new feature in the Tomorrow RPG remake. And those are your chain combos. In order to do that, you have, you have to um, oh, how can I? Like I said, this is really hard to explain. This you pretty much gotta time your hits whenever you whenever you attack an enemy. And every time you do that, your combo chain will go up. Let me see if I can demonstrate it again. Yep, like so. And because and because my uh, and because I'm at chain uh, reaction number three, one of my stats had boosted up. Yeah, I, I really love that feature in the in the remake. Now I could um jump on the paratrooper because that's his weakness, but we're gonna punch him. Mm. Oh god damn it! Hmm. <clears throat> Take two hissies out. No biggie. We got a flower tab. Oh yeah, whenever you get your flower tab, yeah, you, you may want to use those right away. Flower items will permanently increase your max FP, letting you use some specials. There are some super important, so don't forget them. Yeah, I always forget them at times, I'll admit. Alright, so now our max FP is at 11 because we used the flower tab. Alright, let's get up there and- OH! Okay, that was a beginner's trap right there! Yeah, I love how the- I love how the- the Goomba- I love how the Goomba pretty much overjumped my ass and I went right into him. Throwing me off and shit. Alright. What was that item? I don't know what it was. Oh, okay. Let's get another fight. <clears throat> HP Max. Oh yeah, you may notice that the uh you may notice that by the time I get the uh get the five chain, the music is gonna change a little. Oh yeah, and the reason why um my combo chain had decreased is it's because I missed time my uh I missed time my attacks. Okay, let me um Alright. Alright, let me get let me get in some more battles before we um get a move on. God, I need I need to level up my um Oh god damn it! Kinda of blacked out for a minute. Uh here we go. Alright. Sammy knows Spiny. Alright. Oh, fuck that shit. Attack up. That gave me two. Alright, I need, I need to get in one more fight and then he'll level up. Alright, now I'm at a higher chain now, which means you may notice that the music had changed a little bit. Oh! 
Oh, he missed! Do oh, you missed! As you see, my uh, my uh, my my uh, gauge uh, drone is uh, is almost full. It's at ninety seven percent. All right, so we're at level two. Oh yeah, and it oh, and it changed the uh, the level up screen because on the on the original Super RPG, uh, you will see uh, Mario come out at pipe and pose, but now we see him dance on now we see him on stage. Well, he does dance, but not until another party member shows up. So yeah. All right. So when you level up your your HP, your attack, your defense, your magic and defense, your magic attack and your magic defense will increase. And when you hit the A button, um, you you get you get a bonus stat. All right. So you can increase your your HP again, or your physical or magic. But what I do is that I um, yeah, I increase the uh, magic first. You'll see why shortly. Make sure we have full health. Alright. So now we can leave, uh, before we leave for Mushroom Way, we gotta deal with this guy. Well, I don't like your hammer either. But, although, your hammer will make a fine addition to my collection. <laughs> okay, let me stop. Alright. Now you got my hammer angry. Should have done that. All right, so for boss time, it's more like a mini boss, hammer bro. So the way to jump. All right. Mmm. Block that shit. Mmm. Oh, and block that shit. All right, here we go. All right, he's out. Now he's gonna increase his uh, defense. Alright, let's jump on him. Uh! Alright, let me, um. Yeah. Yeah, honey, I might regret this. Oh, got a freebie. Oh, he missed! Good! Now we can jump on him again. Alright, one, one more will do. what I tell you? Pro or what? <laughs> but yeah, the hair bros isn't, isn't that freaking hard. Oh my god, I was watching Dashie's uh, uh, playthrough or video of this. He had a hard time with the hammer bros. Like, holy shit. That's me in a nutshell, Toad. I guess we got time to, um, go to the Mushroom Kingdom. Well, yeah, see the, uh, hammer bro was holding it? Oh, I love how he drags it. It has the Hammer Bros insignia on it. No one stands a chance against you when you whopping with this. You never knew it might come in handy. Ah, uh, you pick up a hammer. Oh yeah, and every time you, I forgot to mention that every time you beat a battle, a random battle, whenever Mario does his victory pose, he does a different one this time because he he no longer does a does a peace sign. Now you take off his hat and say. He just nods. You know what I'm saying? He just nods. Alright, before we do that, we want to go to equip. Equip that hammer on him. Because when we equip our hammer, that's going to increase our attack power. Alright. Let's get the hell out of um, Mushroom Way. Alright. Mushroom Kingdom, here we come. Alright, welcome to the Mushroom Kingdom. Let's do a little exploring first. Hey Mario, look what you're standing in. I gotcha. Well, fuck you, bitch. I haven't seen Princess Peach lately. What? Bowser's got her again? Alright, so yeah, you can talk to random um, toes if you want. Alright, what you gotta say? All I do is cook and clean. 
Sound like Chef PP. Alright, let's, let's see what he let's see what he's waiting for upstairs. At least he's jumping on the bed. One, two, three. Think I'll practice enough for I'll jump high as you, Mario? Sure. Tell him yes, he'll uh man, it's like he drunk it's like he drunk tomatoes energy drinks. Guys music is so good! So good! But like I said, I love the remake Half the Death, man. It, it was really faithful to the original one. Oh, if you go behind here... I ain't literally forgot about this. Listen, you'd be hiding too if you had a run-in with, with that crocodile creep. Oh, shoot. Yeah, we'll be seeing him shortly. Now, that building with a star in it? That's the end. So you go there to rest. Okay, now this guy playing his um, Game Boy? Well, we can't talk to him just yet. But we keep, talk to him, but we keep on talking to him enough more times. Aw, oh, shit! Yep, he lost because of me. Okay, now on the original version, if you keep on if you keep on bugging the fuck out of that toad playing his Game Boy, he'll, he'll just shake. He'll shake his whole body. <laughs> and he messed up because we keep on harassing him. Alright, let's see what's up here. Oh, somebody sleeping. I'll do this to me right around like a record baby while he's sleeping. I hope he doesn't mind. It's not like I'm always sleeping. That's me in a nutshell. Okay, now this is a particular uh, build I'm gonna go into because uh, there's a certain thing we're we gonna, we gonna get at first, which is, well, let's just say that um, well, I want to say it's a new feature. Well, it's kind of a new feature, but. New and not new, but you'll, you'll see what I mean once we go in this um, store right here. So this is the item shop. Got any money? Money on you? Yep, 40, got 47 coins. Oh, one of the frogs, Sage's grandchildren, is running errands in town today. Oh, okay, I know who you talk about too. So you come here to buy some items and uh, armors. Now, first thing you want to do, yeah, you best bet is buy some armors. Alright. Let's buy a shirt. And equip it. Let's buy some pants for later. That means I got, oh, that means I got, I got to remember to equip on the second uh, party member when, when he joins my bag, joins my uh, party member. Oh boy, I could get the jump shoes. That's gonna kill my coins, though. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold that off for later, though. I might regret it. Alright, I kind of want to get me a pick me up, just to play it safe. I'll give me a mushroom. Wait, I'll give me another honey syrup. Yeah, we should be going to mushrooms. Alright, so let's go downstairs. Now, this is what I want to show off. I already stand before me. Stand right in front of him. And you want to jump. Oh yeah, remember the hidden uh, box I was talking about at, when I started this video? Yep, this is what I was talking about. It's like, um... Like 57 or something like that. Yep, they call the hidden treasures. Use your awesome jumping abilities to look for. Use your awesome jumping abilities to look for them. This should help too. All right. Now this is what I was trying to tell you guys. Because normally, you wouldn't get these. You wouldn't get the signal ring this early in the game. Because on, on the original version, you'll get the signal ring like like much later on at the um, at Lumbus Land. So yeah, I, I love how they gave you the the signal ring early in the remake. Don't forget to equip it when you hunt for hidden treasures. <clears throat> fucking throat. Oh my god, of course they're gonna show us that fucking pig. Don't be surprised if I fuck this one up. Cause this is this is one of the hardest um hidden treasures to find back in the day. If you're playing the original version. A signal ring will let you know we near a hidden treasure near you. It has no effect when not equipped. 
Okay. <coughs> Won't cook that right now. And there's another one nearby. So we gotta get this guy to move on the right side of the room and... Wow! Wow, he was he was being real nice to me. Because normally he doesn't he doesn't really walk straight to the wall when I get done talking to him. Oh. Okay, I forgot about that. <laughs> I literally forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, you jump on the freaking uh, on the shelf. Yeah, he'll he'll, he'll bitch at you, tell you to get down. Oh wait, what if I have, what if I, have, if I stay on this toad for a little, for a long time? Yep, he gets he gets dizzy, he pass out. All right, Mario, I'll make a great cycle for you in a few years, right? Don't worry, Bowser shows up. I know how. I know just how to get his goat. Huh. I right, see what's in this house. He's like spinning around in circles. Huh? Ain't wrong about that. All right, so ready now. Ready to get that one, that one hardest uh, hidden treasure in the entire game. But I go get it right now. If I fuck this up, man, let me go into the building. Okay. Get good, cause I want I want to auto save. All right, so we go in this building, right? Oh wow! On the on the original version, that uh the castle was, the castle's roof was red instead of blue. <laughs> Tell you man, I'm a graphics horror man. I can't help it. All right, so this toad's gonna score you to the to the uh, chairs office. So we gotta uh jump in this. Ah, okay. Jump in his head and get that hidden treasure. Oh my goodness, that was a pain in the ass back in the day. Yeah. That was really a pain in the ass back in the day because once you uh miss that um well as far as I know on the original version once you miss that hidden treasure on that uh on that little um that little cow set just now you won't be able to give you won't be you won't be you won't be able to get that hidden treasure for the rest of the game. Let's just put it that way. Alright, before we go speak to the uh, chancellor, we're gonna explore more of um Peach's castle. Oh my goodness. Yo. Oh my god. I love how you can see the um you can literally see outside from the window in the, in the remake version. And you can see your reflection. You can see none of this on, on the um on the uh on the original version. I mean there was a window in the original version, but you're gonna see the trees in the background and such. They really went out in this freaking remake, I'm telling you. Or remastered. Alright, so you go up here, we're in Peach's room. The Peach hasn't returned yet, can you imagine how the temperature must feel? I won't even guess. Let's jump on Peach's bed. Alright, so if we uh, go right next to the chair and hit A. Found Peach's tampons? Maybe. Hey there, what do you think you're doing? I'll give you this in a change, just leave everything to where it was. Alright. And because we um viewed uh Peach's um question mark tampons, we got a mushroom out of that. <laughs> but yeah. Alright now we go see the Chancellor. And after this we're gonna call it an episode. Ha! Cause why not? Sir Mario has arrived. Alright. Let's just uh, walk towards the Chancellor and see what he has to say. And just give him the bad news. And that camera looks so detailed, man. Good lord. Like I said, man, I love this game. I to death, man. Like, ever since I bought this in... Ever since I bought the remake on November 17th, I've been playing this shit like non-stop. Well, you may have an idea who's behind it, but not exactly. Huh. 
So I beat Bowser. He missed the feet. I tried to say Peach. Then fucking Exor came out of nowhere. Ha! <laughs> and crashed into Bowser's castle. And now he's taking over Bowser's castle. But now he's now he's in the being dead in distress. And not only that, the bridge had collapsed. And now Bowser's keep is is. I was just about to say that word too. Unaccessible. God damn it. Get used to this, folks, so this, this is going to be a recurring thing from here on out. Especially to the Paper Mario series. Especially on anime shows like Sailor Moon. They do that shit all the time. <laughs> Fall flat on their face, cliche. Nah, he don't need to tell me shit. I already know how. <laughs> oh, yeah, you better believe it. I'm way ahead of your Chancellor. I already bought it beforehand. God damn it! Forgive me, I can't stop worrying about the princess. Me neither. Go to the cell and prepare your journey. The bulk off should assist you. Alright, oh, I, this something I, I, I meant to point out doing that cutscene because I wanted you guys to listen to that awesome soundtrack. Now, that cutscene, um. That cutscene that, that played when, whenever Exor um, fell into uh, Bowser's uh, castle. You guys might have saw, saw me use that transition doing one of my God War Ragnarok videos. <laughs> so yeah, that was a little tease there. <laughs> Mario, the chance has still me in. The fault is this way. I right, just talk to him again. See if we can visit this room like um like more than once. Alright, that's a flower. So yeah, they work differently from flower items. They increase your flower points since you grab one, but you can't carry them with you. Okay. Flower types on the other hand you can, which we did a while ago. And this one is a tin coin. Yup, cause it's cause it's large. And the small ones are worth one. She's a tin. Oh, and the mushroom, yeah, we, we, we might have saw that a few times doing Mushroom's Way. But, um, the, when you, whenever you uh, bash the block and you see that mushroom in the block, that, that it's going to fill your health and your FP. Yup, like so. And, and hit that block wisely, though. Oh, uh, yes, I know. Do I gotta equip anything? No, we good. And there's a reason why I bought the pants. And you'll you'll see I like, right about now. So once you, once you step outside, another cutscene's gonna play out. Ha! <laughs> Come back here. Oh yeah, that's the crocodile that that uh that one guy was talking about. No, that might have been crocodile be behind that uh behind that building earlier. Uh yeah. Oh yeah, he actually did jump on the wall in the um on the original version. He he bumped into it. All over for a coin. Oh yeah, you can't even skip none of these cutscenes, by the way. You can't cry. Oh no. It's like he's having the uh the Chibi Usa syndrome whenever she cries, uh she raised that fucking uh the the sonar above her forehead to learn the bad guys, but but unlike uh um, Chibi Usa, whenever Malo cries it rains. You know, and you can't stop the Rain, you can't stop the rain when it starts to pour. You can't stop the rain. <laughs> All right, let's just talk to Balo and stop being like Lamar Salas. <laughs> All right, rise and shine, you sleepy head. It's no fun to stay in bed, in bed, in bed. 
Yes, I know Mario. <laughs> I love the Rugrats. So sue me. <laughs> oh, that's not why he why he was a uh, quote unquote face palming because he forgot what he was crying about. <laughs> So yeah, so Crocko has stole his uh his frog coin that that belongs to his uh grandfather, or whatever. Oh, right, I'm not gonna lie. When I first played Mario with you on the uh on the uh original version, those pigtails that Toad has, I thought those are her arms. Alright, just tell him yes. Alright, if you tell him no, he's gonna cry again. And with that, folk. Oh, so uh, Model He thinks he's a frog. But there's a reason for that. So Mario joins his quest. I mean, Milo joins uh, Mario. Alright, the scrapbook has been added on the journal. You can check it out to look back at your adventure so far. Oh, yeah, like like, like we did in, um, in Kingdom of Hearts, the journal. Alright. Get rid of that exclamation point. Alright, so we're gonna figure out one more thing before we get in the episode. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can't forget about the pants. Alright, let's just, let's just get this cussing out the way. Then we'll find me a save point and uh, we're gonna call it an episode. <laughs> I love how he spins around to the transform. <laughs> he forgot his bazooka. Oh my god. That that line right there crashing up every fucking time. And I'm surprised they didn't remove that um that quote from the remake. But they do remove a certain uh quote from the remake. We'll, we'll get to that later. You'll never take me alive! <laughs> Alright, well I'm sorry Mala, but that coin's gonna have to wait. Oh, we got a map! Oh! Okay, and this is something new. This is something new. They add in a remake. Now we got the now we got the feature to select map, right? But not only that, we can fast travel. Thank you. Freaking good! They gave us fast travel in the remake. We did that so bad. All right, we're gonna go to the end, and I can assist myself to the save block. All right, we can few maps just for the hell of it. All right, so we will warp, we will warp to we would warp to Bandit's way, but um, we can't warp there just yet because we haven't viewed it yet. All right. With that being said, this is it for the first part. Let's play some more RPG. So, hope you guys enjoyed the uh, the first video of 2024. And again, I want to wish you guys a happy new year. Hope you guys enjoy it. And um, <laughs> now see, and I'll see you guys in the next part. Cause next time, let's play some more RPG. We're gonna go to Bandit's Way so we can get uh, Miles' uh, frog coin back, and then we're gonna come back to the Mushroom Kingdom to see. What's in store for us? Once again, folks, I hope you guys are going to enjoy Let's Play because it's going to be a blast. It's going to be popping because I really enjoy this game half to death. So now let me, let me go on out of there. Now see you guys in the next part. Let's play some more RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. So until next time, everyone, Celtics A42 out.